Hi, I'm Krista Namdahl and welcome to my studio. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making a new pattern. This is the Verano Airy Bucket Hat and Bag. This is a motif bucket hat and matching tote bag. Mix and match any four colors for this set or make it in solid colors. You will need 920 yards of number three DK weight yarn or 230 yards each if you're making it in four colors. I made this set with a G7 or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and four balls of Be So Airy yarn in colors Sandcastle, Mint Green, Foam White, and Strawberry. The finished size of the hat is 20 inch circumference, seven inches tall, and a five inch brim. The bag is 14 inches tall by 12 inches wide. The base is nine and a half inches wide by two inches deep with a handle drop of five inches. In this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for getting started on the Verano beach bag. We're going to go back and forth between reading the stitch pattern on the chart and then crocheting the stitches to make this beautiful bag. Let's get started. The pattern begins with a starting chain that starts right here and after you do the starting chain and join it to form a ring we're going to work in rounds working up in the stitch pattern repeating the stitch pattern for each of these color stripes. If you choose to do it in separate colors, I will also show you how to modify the pattern if you wanna do it all in one color. And as we continue on up here, then the chart will show you how to work the handle right into the last round of the bag. Then we come back to the chart here and working in the opposite side of that beginning chain is then how you will add the base to the bag. So here's the base. And so we pick up and crochet into each of the beginning chains and then work in the round with decreases on either side of the center point here and here uh, to create that decreased bag base and then crochet the two sides together at the end. Okay, now that you understand the construction, let's come back now and read the chart and also talk about how you can modify this pattern. So as you can see here, not only with that beginning chain here, it also tells you that it's a multiple of 18 stitches. Now, why is that important? It's important because let's say you want to make the bag bigger or smaller than this. What if you wanted to make a smaller bag and make something to hold your sunglasses or maybe make some sort of a toiletry bag to keep inside your bag? If you do multiple of 18 stitches, in any set of multiples, you can make different size bags. What if you wanted to make a giant beach bag? You would want to do a different repeat, a different multiple of 18 chains to start. This particular one is chain 108 for six multiples. And here's one of the swatches that we're going to use later in this video. And this one is a multiple of three of the repeats. So you can see what a big size difference that is already. All right, so coming back to the chart, you're going to do a beginning chain in a multiple of 18. If you're doing the bag, it's times six for a total of 108. The reduced size sample I'll be working on today is a multiple of three pattern repeats, which will be a chain 54. And let me show you how to read round one, and then we'll do it with the yarn. So I'm going to do a chain 54 and join in the ring. If you're doing the full size bag, it would be chain 108 and slip stitch to join into a ring. And then round one begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, one double crochet in each of the next five chains, chain four, skip the next three chains, three treble crochet cluster in the next chain, chain four, skip the next three chains, and then one double crochet into each of the next five double crochets. Remember that that first chain three counted as our first double crochet. So in all the subsequent repeats, that will be a double crochet going forward as you repeat all the way around. Once you work your way all the way around, it's a slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. Now let's do that with our yarn. I'll be using Be So Airy yarn today, which is the same yarn that I made the hat and the bag in. 
it's a DK weight yarn. It's wonderful for outdoor bags and sun hats, very lightweight. You wanna tie your yarn to your crochet hook using a square knot, a slip knot, whichever you prefer. And I'll also be using a size G7 or 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. And you want to chain in a multiple of 18. My reduced size sample is 54 chains. The full size bag in the pattern is 108 chains. And then you want to slip stitch to join into a ring. After you've completed your starting chain, you want to make sure it's not twisted and then slip stitch to the first chain to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of the starting chain. Round one, as we discussed with the chart, starts with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, and then one double crochet into each of the next five stitches, or five chains. Double crochet is yarn over your hook, insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And do that four more times. Chain four. Skip the next three chains and work a three treble crochet cluster in the next chain. Three treble crochet cluster starts with a yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the specified chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice. Insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You should now have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Chain four. Skip the next three chains and one double crochet into each of the next five chains. Okay, this is our repeat that you want to repeat all the way around, keeping in mind that the first double crochet at the beginning of the round was a chain three that counted as a double crochet. So it's six double crochets, chain four, three treble crochet cluster, chain four, five double crochets, and you want to repeat that all the way around. At the end of the round, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round one. Let's go back to our chart now and read round two. Round two begins with the chain three that counts as a double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets, chain four, and two treble crochet cluster in the side of the last stitch worked skip the next three double crochets, work one single crochet in the next chain four space, one single crochet in the next cluster, one single crochet in the next chain four space, chain four, two treble crochet cluster in the side of the stitch last worked, skip the next three double crochets and one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. You want to repeat this all the way around considering that the first double crochet counted as it, or the chain three counted as our first double crochet in the first repeat. So in each of the rest of the repeats around, that is a double crochet. Okay, let's do this repeat with our yarn now. Okay, so round two begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. chain four, two treble crochet cluster in the side of the stitch just worked, yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the same space, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You should now have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops on your hook, Skip the next three double crochets, one single crochet in the next chain four space, one single crochet in the next cluster stitch, one single crochet in the next chain four space, chain four, 
two treble crochet cluster in the side of the stitch just worked. Skip the next three double crochets and one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. And you want to repeat this all the way around. At the end of the last repeat, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round two should look like. Let's go back to our chart now. Round three begins with a chain three that counts as a double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets, chain six, one single crochet into each of the next three single crochets, chain six, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. And you want to repeat this all the way around, keeping in mind that this chain three is a double crochet in the rest of the repeats in round three. Okay, round three begins with a chain three that counts as a double crochet, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. Chain six. One single crochet into each of the next three single crochets. Chain six, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. And you want to repeat this all the way around, keeping in mind that the chain three that counted as a double crochet at the beginning of the first repeat will be a regular double crochet in the rest of the repeats around round three. At the end of round three, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what your work should look like at the end of round three. For round four, we'll go back to our chart first. Round four begins with a chain three that counts as our first double crochet. One double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. Three double crochets in the next chain six space. Chain six, three treble crochet cluster in the second single crochet of the three single crochet section chain four, three double crochets in the next chain six space, and one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. You want to repeat this all the way around, keeping in mind that the chain three that counted as a double crochet in the beginning of the round is going to be replaced with a regular double crochet for the rest of the repeats for round four. Okay, so now we'll do that with our yarn. Round four begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. Three double crochets in the next chain six space. Chain four. Three treble crochet cluster in the second double, second single crochet of the three single crochet section. Yarn over twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Do that two more times in the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through all four loops on your hook, chain four. Three double crochets in the next chain six space. And one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets. You want to repeat this all the way around, keeping in mind that the chain three that counted as a double crochet at the beginning of this first repeat is replaced with a regular double crochet in all the rest of the repeats for round four. At the end of the round, you want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round four should look like. This is the end of our pattern repeat for the actual flower motif, but there actually is four more rounds of the pattern for the full 
repeat because it is an offset pattern. Now, the easiest way to start the next section of the repeat was to change color. And so if you are changing color, the chart and the pattern will tell you exactly how to do that. And that's by fastening off at the end of round four. And then for round five, joining with a slip stitch in any of the cluster stitches. If you would like to continue on in the same color, you would simply need to slip stitch across these stitches and these chains to get to the top of a cluster stitch to then begin. So this, this could be over any of them, right? So to get over, to start round five, you just want to get over any cluster stitch. And that's how you're gonna work each set of the four rounds to continuing on to work this pattern in an offset design. The easiest way to do that was with changing colors, but uh, let me show you how you would do that if you wanted to do it in the same color. We would simply slip stitch across until we get on top of one of those cluster stitches. And so because we will be working into these stitches as well, I think it's helpful to work those slip stitches in the back loop only. It gives you more space to work into both loops of the stitches that you're skipping so that you can hide these slip stitches going forward. And then we'll slip stitch across the four chains as well and slip stitch into that first cluster stitch. So now we're exactly where we would need to be to begin round five, regardless of whether you wanted to do it all in the same color or if you wanted to do it in separate colors. So now let's read the chart for round five. Round five begins with a chain three that counts as a double crochet and then one double cro three double crochets in the chain four space, then one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets, chain four, skip the next three stitches and three treble crochet cluster in the next double crochet. Chain four, skip the next three stitches, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets, three double crochets in the next chain four space, one double crochet in the next cluster stitch. That's our repeat. And so then we'll be repeating that all the way around, keeping in mind that the first chain three that counted as a double crochet will be repeated as a double crochet as you work around round five. So let's do that with our yarn now. So round five begins with a chain three, which counts as a double crochet, three double crochets in the next chain four space, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets, chain four, skip the next three double crochets in the next double crochet, work a three treble crochet cluster, chain four, skip the next three double crochets, one double crochet into each of the next two double crochets, three double crochets in the next chain four space. And you wanna repeat this all the way around, replacing the chain three that counted as a double crochet at the beginning of the round with a regular double crochet for all the rest of the repeats for round five. Okay, I'm on my last repeat now and I wanted to show you how I was going to work over those stitches that have slip stitches on top of them as well. So we're now going to skip the next three stitches and double crochet. So the, here's the double crochet that had a slip stitch over it. I'm going to still work in the double crochet portion, which means I'm going to work around, over and around the uh, slip stitch on top of the double crochet. And as you can see, it covers it up very well. So it's nice to have that additional option. 
And we're now at the end of our repeat, so it's slip stitch to the top of the chain three at the beginning of the round to join. And this is what the end of round five should look like. Rounds six, seven, and eight are a repeat of rows of rounds two, three, and four. So you're going to want to repeat rounds five, six, seven, and eight for the remainder of the pattern, regardless of whether you're going to do it in one color and slip stitch across, or if you're going to fasten off and join with a new color every four rounds. Then after that, it, to do the pattern exactly as written, you'll work round 21, which will be working a single crochet in each stitch and chain around. Then on round 22 is where we do our handle, which is a chain three, two and three double crochets all in that same stitch then slip stitch into the space between the second and third double crochet to do a chain three and three double crochets and repeat that for as many times as you want for whatever size handle you're working skip the stitches in between and then work one double crochet in each stitch around let me show you what those handles look like here and then from there you'll want to pick up into the beginning chain, working a single crochet in each of the beginning chains on the bottom side of the bag to then follow the pattern and the chart to do the decreases to make this beautiful base so that your bag can have a flat bottom. Follow the link in the video description to watch the other video in this series for the Verano bucket hat. I have a video for this one as well. And you can also get information on downloading this two-in-one pattern. The pattern includes charts and written instructions for both the Verano bucket hat and the beach bag. And you can also get information on Biso Airy Yarn, which is my DK weight, wonderful sun hat and beach bag yarn that is available in 23 gorgeous colors. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please leave them for me in the comments. Everything we talked about today, you can find as links in the video description below. Let us make time to create, share, and inspire today and every day. I'll see you in the next video.